Three players are about to enter into a game of wits with our enigmatic machine. Could one of them charm £10,000 from its clutches today? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players are facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Rob, a retired sales manager from Cheshire. I'm Harriet, a barista from Nottinghamshire. And I'm Di, a regional manager from Cardiff. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. Should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to try and bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. Fairway to Heaven and Minter Wonderland are flavours by which American ice cream company named after its two founders? Die. Ben & Jerry. Yes, Ben & Jerry's indeed die. Right, first correct answer, so the first choice is yours. I think I shall pass to Rob. Rob! That's OK. Thanks, Di. <laughs> Di doesn't want to launch the machine, he wants you to do it. So where would you like to put the first counter? Drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's see what we can do. Bar four up. <laughs> Trying. Comes towards that mystery. And then going over the top shelf. Yes, Ooh. couple there. Is the tipping point going to go for you? Oh No, no, it's not. Nice pass by Di. Wasn't quite ready there, Rob. You've still got two counters left. Here's your next question. In March 2021, an original screen print by which British graffiti artist was burnt? Die. Banksy. In a live stream video and later sold for over $380,000. It is Banksy, die, yeah. Are you going to play this time? I'll pass again okay. and to uh, Harriet, please. Harriet. Thank you. Your chance to get into the machine now, Harriet. Where do you want to go? Drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four it is. Just reverses on you. Rob's counter could cause you a problem. And it does. Ooh. Just riding on that now. Is it riding, yeah. It is. Can we get a little squeeze here for you, Harriet? You might get a bit. Ooh. That's certainly not it enough. Close, close, close. So nothing from your first counter either. Here's your next question. Montego Bay is a popular holiday destination located on the north coast. Rob. Jamaica. Of which Caribbean island it is? Jamaica. Now, Rob, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll stick with drop zone four, please, Ben. All right, ladder up four for Rob. Oh, really rapid drop. Now, that side could work nicely. Oh, it's flat. Flat. Can we get a couple over the top shelf? What do you think, Rob? Yeah, it's looking. Yeah, I think I could. there's a few in the corner there. I think could. And they do, nice. yeah. Four counters for you, Rob. Nicely done. £200. We finally get something from the machine. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Gets you off the mark and you've got one counter still to play. Here's your next question. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind, is a quote from the 2002 Disney film Lilo and... Harriet. Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is right. Would you like to play, Harriet, or would you like to pass? I might risk it and go for four. OK, four up, please. Is this the right play? Let's see. Oh, Pretty central. That could be a time. nice spot for the top shelf. For those counters there, yes. Is the tipping point going to go, though, for you, Harriet? No, oh. it's not. Rob just cleaned out that corner. So you're down to your last counter now, Harriet. Here's your next question. Steven Gerrard has represented the England national team in which ball sport? Die. Football. Yes, football's right. You ready to play now, Die? 
I'm actually going to pass again. I again? Think. Yep. To Harriet or to Rob? I think I'll give it to uh, Rob. All right. Down to you there, Rob. Where should we put it? Let's try drop zone three. OK, I'm going to shift slightly to drop zone three. <laughs> Drops pretty centrally, Rob. Now, is this going to pay out? We've not used three yet. Ty's so been very clever with his passes up till now. And yes, there you go. A couple over the top. Is this a point going to go? Ooh. No, it's not. Another good pass. Rob, I'm afraid, nothing from that drop. You stay on £200. You have now used all three counters, though, so for the time being, you are out. Harriet, you've got one counter left. Die, you've still got all three of yours. Next question. In 2021, to celebrate the 70th birthday of Dennis the Menace, YouTuber Joe Sugg guest edited an issue of which children's comic? Die. The Beano. It is the Beano. You gonna play? Are you gonna pass again? I, I'll, I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. Finally. Uh, which one now? Let's see. Drop zone four then. All right. We're gonna go with drop zone Hopefully four. Hopefully, try and get it on the left. Come on. Ah. All right. There we go. Now, you've waited a long time past a fair few counters. Is now the time to strike, Dai? Come on. There okay, you go. Three that. across the tipping point. 150 pounds for you. It's not a bad first counter. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put you just behind Rob. £150. You've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question for Harriet and for Di. Mycroft Holmes is the brother of which fictional Di? Sherlock Holmes. Detective created by Arthur Conan Doyle. It is Sherlock Holmes. Yes, you're going to play again? I'll play, please. Where are you going this time? Um, drop zone four again and hope that it goes on the left. OK, four up, please. That's yeah, that's better. Where I want it. Anything coming over the top for you, Di? Yes. Nice top shelf shunt. What about the bottom? Oh, yeah, Not I'll take that. Not bad on the bottom either. Six counters for you, Di. £300. Well done. Now we're getting some money. Let's put it in your bank. Put you on £450 in the lead with one counter still to play. Next question for Harriet and for Di. The TV show Celebrity Best Home Cook was first broadcast in 2021 and hosted by Claudia Who. Die. Winkleman. It is Winkleman, yes. Well done, Die. Right. Right, I am going to do a strategic pass, I a think. A strategic pass at yes, this stage. Uh, Interesting yeah. call, this. Harriet, now, can we make Die pay? There's a lot on the tipping I point. What are you so. thinking, looking at the machine? Drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone three. <laughs> Coming it from the right-hand side. Yeah. That double's vulnerable. The tipping point looks strong. Just don't want another rider. No, it's not That's riding. Good. Something over the top is what we need, though. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, Ooh, Harriet, no. Unlucky. Being pinned in place, I'm afraid, mm. Harriet. So nothing to add. So you stay with nothing in the bank. That's all three you. So for the time being, you are out. Right, Di, it's just you left in. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Here we go, then, Di. What common name is given to the pieces of leather sometimes worn by horses to prevent them seeing to the side and rear? Blinkers. They are called blinkers, Die. Yeah, nicely done. Right, so one last counter for you to put into the machine. Right, we're going to go drop zone three, please. Okay, let's have drop zone three. <laughs> so, how it's just set that top shelf nicely. Can you take out that silver counter? Just in the middle would be nice. Yeah. Ooh, hard on the right could work as well, because the double's down there. Did you get something over the top shelf? Which you do, oh, yeah, and they spread. separate. Is it going to go? Uh, oh, oh, so the double close. survives. Keep an eye on it, because I think Harriet's silver count is going to go. It has done. And there's some more to add. 11 counters die. What a great way to finish the round for you. £550. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Di is way out in the lead with £1,000. Rob has £200. Harriet's got nothing in the bank. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Rob, Harriet and Di are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Die after that tactical masterclass that was round one, you are leading. So you get to choose again. So what your tactics are going to be? Do you want to play first? Or would you like to ask Harriet or Rob to play? I think I'm going to stick with the game plan and I'm going to pass to, to Rob. Right then, Rob. 45 seconds for you. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Rob, please. Your time starts now. In standard professional go-karting, how many wheels does each vehicle have? Four. Correct. In the Doctor's Use book, the cat in the hat typically wears a hat that is predominantly white and which primary colour? Red. Correct. Which professional dancer partnered Bill Bailey in the 2020 series of Strictly Come Dancing? Pass. Oti Mabusi. What is the official title of the person who gives the results for a constituency during a general election? Pass. The returning officer. Botswana, Kenya and Nigeria are three countries located on which large continent? Africa. Correct. The AIG Women's Open is a tournament in which club and ball sport? Football. Golf. Neuralink is a US neurotechnology company founded by which SpaceX and Tesla CEO? Elon Musk. Just in time, Rob. Elon Musk is the correct answer. So four counters for four correct answers into the machine. Where would you like to start? Drop zone three, Ben, I think, please. All right, let's have drop zone three. Looks pretty good on the back. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. If that goes flat, we could maybe take out a fair few of those top shelf. They're all connected. They yep, want to get enough of it. Needs a good shove here, Rob. Come on, come on. Ah, it's just what Harriet's was doing, wasn't it? Just clinging to the top shelf. But you've got another crack. Do you want to go three again? I think so. It's got to be on it, yeah. Three, please. Right in the middle there, mm, isn't it? Just where that was. It's not far away, but that silver counter might cause you a problem. Is it far enough away? You know, could oh, you're flat. Uh, okay. There we go. It's flat. Now, are you going to get something over the top shelf this time? Can it take that black counter with it? Two go over the top. Silver one wants to go two. It's going to set up the bottom. Three. Two more to go in, Rob. Three again. I've got to stick with it, haven't I? Yeah, three, please, Ben. So three, please. Nice, right oh, between the two. Handy. Both of them over will be good. There you go. Now, good broad shove. Can we get you some money here, Rob? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I thought you'd get that other little oh, cluster. <laughs> £150 for those three, though, so we've got you something. And one more to go in, Rob. I'll stick with drop zone three, please, Ben. Five up, drop zone three. Doubles on the right, that mystery's on the left. Hard oh, on the right side, now. Is the top shelf going to go? Come on, though. It's got to go. It's got to go. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Would you That's believe so it? Somehow it's just squeezed into mm. a few gaps, moved laterally, and you've not had anything over the top shelf to add. But £150 is what you finish with. Let's put it into your bank, Rob. That's going to leave you on £350. Right then, die. Are you going to play this time or are you going to pass oh, what again? What to do? I'll change the plan and I'll play. Yeah, You're going to play? I'll give it a go, yeah. OK. 45 seconds for die, please. The time starts now. How many films are there in a series known as a trilogy? Three. Correct. The Conservative politician who became Health Secretary in 2018 is Matt, Matt Hancock. Correct. In the Western Zodiac, what star sign lies between Taurus and Cancer? Leo. Gemini. In 2020, footballer Marcus Rashford partnered with which British fashion house for a charity project? Uh, Topman. Burberry. The main tent of a circus where the performances take place is most typically known as the Big What? Top. Correct. The food brand, Goodfellas, is most famously known for producing Pizza. garlic... Correct. Random Access Memories was the first UK number one album for which French music duo? Daft Punk. Correct. Who played Jim Hacker in the BBC comedy series Yes, Prime Minister? Pass. Paul Eddington. The adjective cutaneous refers to which large organ of the human... Skin. 
It is skin dive. You're just out, I'm afraid, so no I can't problem. give you that one. But you got five correct answers regardless, which is a really good return. Five counters to put into the machine. That one you got very quickly. Clearly, you like your pizza. The food <laughs> brand Goodfellas is most famously known for producing garlic bread and which other dough-based dish of Italian origin? It was, of course, pizza. Right, so where do you want to start? Drop zone three, please. It looks okay. pretty heavy there on the left and maybe get a push there for the double on the right. Fire up three, please. That's where we Hard on the left. Top shelf is very full. Oof. That just snuck over. Is that the mystery going? Yeah, it is. Nicely done. Nice. Ooh, well done. Great. Six counters die. Nice start. £300. One of them is a mystery prize as well. You've won yourself a gourmet lunch for two on board a luxury London sightseeing bus, courtesy of Bustronome. Fabulous. Yeah, amazing. Rock, I'll look forward to that. Four more to go in. Where next? I'll go with drop zone four and okay. hope it's on the left hand side. If I it's at four, please. Yeah, it's too bad. Right. Is the top shelf going to go for you? Yeah, those ones through the middle won't take much. The double's so close to drop in. Oh. <laughs> Just building up the counters <laughs> round it as well, which could be very lucrative. Three more to go, Di. Yeah, drop seven four again, please, Ben. Fire it up. Oh, he's gone right. Too far right, That's maybe. Right. Yeah. Might fill I'm a gap. Not sure about that. Might just fill yeah. a gap. No joy. Might just fill a gap. Two more to go, Di. Yeah, drop seven four then, obviously. Four again, please. Still a couple of gaps on that top shelf. Yeah. There's another one. That could be all right. Could be. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. Oh, on this spread. Is that going to do it? Yes, yes, it is. Well done. Excellent. Eight more across the tipping point, which is £400. But one of them was the double. Finally, has dropped. So let's give you another £400. Absolutely steaming ahead. You're on £1,100 now, die, And you've got one more count to put in. Great. I'm going to stick with drop zone four. Hope it goes on just down the right hand side there. Okay. Drop zone four, please. Oh, ooh. just a gentle that, edge to that, wasn't there, at the end? No, I don't think we're going to get much. Oh, it worked set. nicely. The mystery's gone for you. Got a few more to Wait. add in as well. Three more fell for you, Die. Let's give you another £150. So finish up with £1,250. Very nicely done. Let's put that into your bank. It's going to put you just in the lead on £2,250. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Harriet, we come to you. 45 seconds for Harriet, please. Your time starts now. Siamese and Russian Blue are breeds of which domesticated feline? Cat. Correct. At the 2021 Grammy Awards, Harry Styles won Best Pop Solo Performance for the UK top ten single Watermelon What? Sugar. Correct. Pearl and Egyptian are both varieties of what edible bulb used as a vegetable? Pass. Onion. Which author and illustrator of the How to Train Your Dragon series was named Children's Laureate in 2019? Pass. the Cow. The Twitter handle, at the BHF, is used by the charity, the British Heart What? Foundation. Correct. In cricket, the set of stumps and bales at which the bowler aims the ball is known by what name? Pass. The wicket. In the UK, the unit of measurement known as a gill is equivalent to how many fluid ounces? Pass. Five. Three correct answers in there, Harriet. Three counts put into the machine. So three chances to try and catch Rob. We need seven counters out of the machine to do just that. What are you thinking looking at the machine? Drop zone one, please, Ben. It's not okay. been touched yet. No, it's not. Let's have drop zone one, please. You've got the double there as well. Yeah. Ooh, not far from the double. Don't Let's want get another rider. That. Oh, it is it's flat. Right. Yeah, that should bring the double down, flat. I think. Good squeeze here. I'm going to split them now. Okay, it's nice. all right. Nice. That divides and they separate, which is good as well. Oh, wow, great. Well, that's a great start. Lovely. <laughs> you needed seven to catch Rob, but that is seven across the tipping point. With your first drop, you are now level 350 pounds. Just need one more counter out to go through to the next round. You've got two more to put in. Hurry up. 
I think I'll stick with one, please, Ben. Drop someone again, please. How are we doing there? Ooh. Ooh. Right against the side. Yeah, a couple over the top's nice. Is it gonna go? Oh, it comes down to this. <laughs> Harriet, one last counter. I've got to stay with one, please, Ben. Drop someone again, please. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Rob thinks it's good. Is it going to be flat, though? It is flat. I think it's going to be flat. Ooh, it is flat, yes. Now, what can we get here? Can we get just the one to go through? And then as Ooh. many as possible. We've had another one off the top no. there. That'll do it. Well done. Sadly, Rob, that means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. And four more across the tipping point there, Harriet. Well done. £200, 550 from the machine, which is enough to put you through and put it into your bank. At the end of the round, Di is leading with £2,250. Harriet goes through with £550. Rob, I'm afraid that means with £350, we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing, Rob. OK, have had a lovely day. Thanks, Ben. Great stuff. Thanks, Rob. So it is Harriet and Di who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Harriet and Di. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We've had some gaps at this stage in the past, but Di, that is very impressive. Have you had the strategy when you've been sitting at home thinking about the game of how you were going to play? I have, yeah. Yeah, I've watched a fair few episodes and did have a, a definite game plan for Yeah, game. and interestingly, people sometimes come in with that game plan to pass the counters out, but it doesn't necessarily go... According no. to plan, yeah, yeah, but it clearly did. So you did a great job. Well done. Two thousand two hundred fifty pounds at this stage in the game is huge. So there's a bit of a task on your hands here, Harriet. But I know you're going to throw yourself into this. Oh yeah, uh, straight up. <laughs> you, you and your mum and your sister, you'll watch the show together. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. They said get through the first round, and then I was like, there's only three of us, so I'll be through the first round. <laughs> Just try and get as close as you can. <laughs> well, you have done the best you possibly can to this stage. And if you can somehow close this gap, then it would be super impressive. And we'll go back in tipping point history, Harriet. So best <laughs> of luck. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be our winner today. So, Di, as you are leading, would you like to play first or would you like to ask Harriet to play? I'll play, please. Okay, first one for you. Published in 1971, which orange character? was the first in the Roger Hargreaves Mr Men series. You can play a pass this if you're not sure. I think I know it, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure whether you're old enough to really know the <laughs> Mr Men that well, so I'm going to pass it. OK, passing it over. Harriet, do you remember the Mr Men? I'm trying to think, is Mr Tickle... Is he got the wiggly arms and is he orange? I'm trying to think, is Mr Happy... I thought he was blue. So, my best guess will be Mr Tickle. Mr Tickle? Yes. OK. Di, what were you thinking? I thought maybe Mr Strong. Mr Strong? Um, uh, yeah, OK. Really you sure. weren't sure, though? Right, Harriet, let's see. It's great still if you're right. Is the answer Mr Tickle? <laughs> yes, it really? is. Very nicely done. Well done. Uh, Mr Happy's bright yellow, of course. Oh. Mr Strong is red. Harriet, you get the counter. So, let's get started, see if we can get you some money. What are you thinking? I might try drop zone two, please, Ben. All right. It's not touched yet. No, it hasn't. Fire up drop zone two. <laughs> Just stays on its edge. Is it going to go flat for us? Could be good. It's been squeezed from both sides. Yeah. yeah. Zone two. So there was a lot there. You're right, Di. It's going to be nicely compacted. Can I'm we get that? over the top. Yes. yes. So no problems there for a change, Harriet. <laughs> One Yay. sneaks in. Let's give you fifty pounds. You nudge a few forward. Let's take that fifty pounds from the machine. Put it into your bank. It's going to put you on six hundred pounds. You keep control as well, Harriet. Time for your first question. Which Hollywood star who appeared in the film School of Rock also fronts a band called Tenacious D? You can play this or you can pass. Have you seen School of Rock, Harriet? I love it. I'm thinking, is it Jack Black? Going with Jack Black? Yes. OK, could have passed us over. Di, have you seen it? Yeah, it's definitely Jack Black. Definitely yeah, Jack Black. The, uh... You're right, Harriet, it's another counter. 
Is the answer Jack Black? Yes. Great answer. Harriet, where do you want to go? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Drop zone two. So, come on, let's see if we can close this gap and chip away at that bit. Bouncy. Mm, very bouncy. We need it very flat, though, for it to be effective. Oh, oh. come on, machine. Second one. Just need to... Push anything forward, though? Get a little... Ooh. No. Just keep an eye on it, it might go. <laughs> yeah, it did fall in the end, Harriet. It'll still be yours if they go. Wanted Nothing to. goes there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, Di, we come back to you. Time for your second question. The National Wallace Monument stands on Abbey Craig, overlooking which Scottish city? Well, I think it could only be two. I think I'll play. I've got, okay. a, got a chance at it. Um, I'll go with Edinburgh. Go with Edinburgh. It's got a hill there. Have you, Harriet, heard of the National Wallace Monument? I haven't, no. I think I would have said the same. You might have got Edinburgh. We've narrowed it down to two Edinburgh, as well. Edinburgh, so the castle's up there on the hill as well, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see, would they put the monument there too? Is the answer Edinburgh? No, oh, no, it's it's not. no, it's not. It's in Stirling. It's okay. close to where William Wallace had his victory over the English at the Battle of Stirling uh. Bridge in 1297. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So, Harry, have another counter. Let's get you some money. I think I've got to stay with Drop Zone 2 and just keep going with it. <laughs> yeah, you Drop Zone 2, please. Just not another rider. Slides down, out, actually, which is good. Could be good, could be good. And a couple over the top shelf. Now, can we get the bottom This could be really good, in? actually. Yes, we can. That's more like it. Well done, Harriet. Seven counters for you, £350. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It puts you on £950. And it's time for your second question, Harriet. You keep control. Which African animal known for its elongated snout is the only living member of the Tubula dentata order of mammals? I can picture it in my head, but I wouldn't have a clue what it's called, so I think I'm going to have to pass it, please. Die. It's screaming aardvark at me. I was also thinking maybe crocodile because of the dentata and teeth, but it's snout, so I'm going to go with aardvark, I think. Aardvark? Yeah. Going with aardvark. Harriet, what do you think? It rings a bell. <laughs> rings a bell. You wouldn't have got there, but let's see if you're right, Die. It's a great answer if you are. Is the answer aardvark? It is indeed. Hey. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> it means earth pig in Afrikaans. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great answer, Di. You get a counter. Where do you want right. to go? We'll go drop zone two, please. Okay, ben. drop zone two for Di. Right, I want it sort of just in the middle. Push those two over there. Come on. Oh, just a bit. Yeah, it could do it, actually. Has it gone far enough? Because it's just on that side of it. Didn't get those two, but there's a few more. Across the top mm. shelf. A few on the head. And two drop in. Let's give you £100 for those two. £100 in the machine. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that'll put you on £2,350. You keep control, Di. Time for your third and final question. The characters Sister Michael and James Maguire appear in which Channel 4 sitcom set in Northern Ireland? I think that's Dairy Girls. Dairy yeah. Girls? My housemate John loves watching that. I think, I think, I think that's right. You're going with Derry Girls. OK, Harriet, what would you have said? I wouldn't have had a clue. No ideas? No. All right, Di, let's see if you are right. You jump straight in with both feet. Is the answer Derry Girls? Yeah, hey. absolutely. Thank goodness for that. Di, where do you want to put the counter? I'm actually going to change tack and go drop zone four and hope it goes over towards the right. OK, let's do it. Fire up four, please. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. That could be all right. That actually. could be right at that mystery. It stays on it. And there's a few on the edge yes. that look like they could go. Yeah, and they go. do. Two counters drop in for you. Let's give you £100 for those two, Di. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £2,450. One last question for you, Harriet. Which American tennis player won six of his seven Wimbledon singles titles during the 1990s? I don't think I could name an American tennis player. I'm going to have to pass it. Die. This might be more in your wheelhouse. 
Yeah, I think it might be Pistol Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras, does that ring any bells? No. Harriet? No, <laughs> you wouldn't have known. Let's see if you're right, Di. You're going through, you're playing for our jackpot. If you're wrong, Harriet, you've got one last counter to try and get 30 out to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Di, let's see if you're right. Was it Pistol Pete Sampras? Yes, it was. Great answer. Well done. Sadly, Harriet, that means we're going to lose you. Very nicely done, Di. And you've got one more counter to put in here. We'll go drop some four again, please, Ben. Stay with it. Four up, please. That's not too bad. Hammers down. Oh, oh it's... Stay there, stay in that black counter. Can we get that mystery oh, moving? It's moving a bit. Going to get closer. Going to get go. closer. Lovely. Nice drop. Lovely, mystery lovely. Survives. Five counters to finish up with. Another £250. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with a very impressive £2,700. Very well done, Di. You are today's winner. You've Thank played you. a cracking Cheers. game. Well done to you. Harriet, you've been lovely, but I'm afraid to say... With £950, we have found a tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you, it's been lovely. It's Good been luck, lovely. Di. Thanks, cheers. Right then, Di, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. This one is bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Di master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Di is our winner today. and has managed to get £2,700, which is a lovely amount of money. You've seen off all the other contestants. Yep. Now it's just you and the machine and the chance to win our jackpot. So what do you think you'd like to do with the money? Where are we to get it out? I'd like to take my, um, my dad on a, on a trip, um, perhaps to see the Aurora Borealis Northern Lights in Iceland. Amazing. And it's quite a, an interesting place that yeah, I yeah. don't think either of us have ever been. No, no. To. You do a lot of travel. You've travelled a lot in the past, haven't you? Part of my job is um, going to lots of different countries around the world to talk about studying at university in the UK. And you lived in Japan for quite a long time? Yeah, I lived in Japan for nearly 12 years. When you were in a rock band yes, over there? Yes, yeah, I was in a band called Nan Ban Jin. What does that mean? It means savages from the south. Amazing. Yeah, it was good fun. I bet it was an amazing experience. Well, look, hopefully we can top off this experience by getting this jackpot counter out. Yes. We can send you and your dad off to go and see the Northern Lights. That'd that be really be special, great. so best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Di is going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home in 10 grand, just get it out again. In fact, I can't have me 20. See if you can get it to drop with a double that's still there. Mm. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Okay. It's as simple as that. So, yep. what should we do with this jackpot counter? It's got to be drop zone one. I think that double's too tempting not Let's to take it. it, isn't it? It looks pretty packed as well. Okay, drop zone one, please. Flies down, settles itself just towards the right of centre, which can be very nice. Yeah, Coming go. towards the double as well. Ideally, want it to okay. hold on a little bit. There you go. Just shift to the All side. Right. That's fine. Okay. We'll take four counters across the tipping point, so £200. Nice. That'll immediately take us up to £2,900. Jackpot counter nice and flat, just towards the right of centre on drop zone one. Let's have a look at your categories. This is what we've got for you. Literature, celebrities, geography, music, sport and food and drink. Okay. Play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, where do you want to start? Okay, I'll go with what I'm comfortable with okay. from in terms of priority. So I'll go with food and drink for three, please, Ben. Starting at the bottom, food and drink for three. Hachinoko is a Japanese delicacy typically made using the larvae of which insects? Wasps, butterflies, or ants? That's fallen quite nicely for me, because I speak Japanese. Is Hachinoko so, a Japanese is Yeah, Japanese so word? Hachi means bee or wasp, and ko is child. So it's, I think it's obviously going to be uh, wasps. Should we go wasps, then? Yes, please. We're going to yeah. go with wasps. Perfect first question for you. Hachinoko is a Japanese delicacy. Is it made using the larvae of wasps? Yes. Nicely done. Right, three counters. Drop zone one. Yes, please, Ben. That's it up, please. Right. Right in the middle, please. Oh, that's almost there, isn't it? Was it was really close. Oh, it's... A little nudge on there. Yeah. OK, that's not bad. It's going to push the double. Might go alongside it. There we go. Four okay. counters drop in. Let's give you another £200. Money going up. £3,100. Two more to go in. Drop someone again? Yes, please, Ben. Let's have one. Okay. 
Yes, that's, that's, that's got to be it, want. surely. Stay right on it, as long as they're quite heavy side of it. Stay yeah, on it. That's all right. Nice die, nice. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Let's go the round double. to the right. That's nice. Mm. Let's push the double to the yes. left of it for me as well, actually, which is good. One more to go in, die. OK, drop zone one, please, obviously. Let's yeah. have one. Lovely. Nearly. Is that, gonna, is that gonna be any good? Nearly. Uh, Just gonna fill the shelf. Okay. That's okay. We're connecting it. Right. right, we're up to three thousand one hundred pounds. Got that jackpot count to the edge of that top shelf. Really good start. Great. Let's go back to the categories. Right, I'll go geography for three, please. Now we're gonna hit geography this time for three. Also known as the everlasting storm, the Catatumbo lightning is a natural phenomenon that occurs on which continent? Asia, South America, or Europe? Well, I've never heard of it, so I'm going to rule out Europe. I could probably rule out Asia as well. It does sound like a, an Hispanic name, doesn't it? A little bit Catatumbo. Yeah, we'll go with South America. That's what my gut's telling me. Yeah? Yeah. OK, we're going to go with South America then. Let's see if you're right. Everlasting storm, the Catatumbo lightning. Does it occur in South America? Yes. Ooh. OK, thank goodness. Uh, Right, three counters. Drop some one, please, Ben. Fire up one, please. Come on now. Let's get it over the top. Right. Go on. Ah. OK, all right. OK, we'll have one over there. You can have that one. Yeah. It's going to be flat. Yes. Might take out these few alongside There's a couple the there. double. We don't want that stack in the middle to go. Ideally, we want that to stay there. Ease on the verge. Anything there? No. Oh, nice. Now, is that flat? I think it might be riding. Yeah. Which means, right. hopefully, the double will stay in because we want that to stay for the jackpot. Just perch yourself there. Three counters okay. did drop in, though, Dyke. Let's give you £150. Takes you up to 3250 Two more to go in. Drop zone one all day long. One up, please. That's, that could be all right, actually. Is it going to The way it moves, it? that black counter. Uh, is the double going to go? I think it might. I think it might. Uh, it does. There you go. <laughs> and on its own. Uh, That's 50 pounds. Own. 50 pounds drops in. OK, OK. Takes up to 3,300 pounds. And we can double it up, give you another 50 pounds. Takes up to 3,350 pounds. One more to go in. Great. Drop zone one. Yes, please. Light it up. Yes, please, Ben. Right, let's hit the right-hand side. Come on. Yep. Get a little Not. nudge on it. There. Nope. Yeah. Uh, OK, anything here? I think there'll be one. One yeah. indeed. Another £50. £3,400. Not as much action on the jackpot counter, no. but we've still got a long way to go. Back to the categories, Di. It's getting slimmer pickings now, <laughs> but we'll go literature for three. OK, we're going literature for three. In the Harry Potter stories, what is the name of Ron Weasley's pet rat? Fluffy, Aragog, or Scabbers? It's a bit of a running joke in my house because whenever it's the weekend and uh, my mate comes in, I'm sitting there watching reruns of Harry Potter. <laughs> so Fluffy, I think, is um, Robbie Coltrane. What's his character's name? Uh, it, it's his dog, but I'm pretty sure it's um, Scabbers. Do you know what Aragog was? Aragog. It rings a bell, but I can't Not remember. Not sure at the minute. We can light up Scabbers, please. As a bona fide fan, this should be an easy one as well. Is the answer Scabbers? Yeah. What? So Fluffy was Hagrid's three-headed Hagrid. dog. Sorry. And Aragog is his giant spider. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's right. right. Three counters. Nicely done. Right, we're going drop zone one again, please, Drop ben. zone one, please. Yeah. Right, come on, machine. Be nice. On that right-hand side. Yeah. Yeah. OK, let's see. OK. You got anything? Yeah, oh, another yeah. 50 pounds. 3,450 pounds. Found enough of that left-hand side. Now, come on, machine, yeah. keep it on the right. Drop someone again? Yeah, drop someone again, please. Let's have one. Yeah. Oh, well, that could be all right. Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, uh. 
frustrating. Bit yeah. further right. Not enough right. Two okay. more drops in. £3,550. And one more to go in. Drop zone one, One please. up, please. Right, come on, then. On the right, come on now. This is the one, for sure. <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Oh, man. A little nudge on it, but nothing more. OK, OK. So we're going to have to keep working at this. No. Keep working at that as well. Let's go back to the categories, then. We're halfway. We have celebrities, music and sport. Crikey. Let's go... Sport for three, please, Ben. Sport for three. Mike Hawthorne was the first Briton to win a world championship in which sporting discipline? Boxing, Formula One or pole vault? It doesn't ring any bells, which makes me gravitate towards the more obscure of the three, which yeah. is pole vault. Yeah. I feel like... But Formula One's been going for a really long time and so is boxing. I'm going to go against my gut feeling and go with boxing, actually. Should we light it up? Yes, please, We're yeah. going to go with boxing, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer boxing? Ooh. Formula One. It was Formula One. 1958 okay. for Ferrari. OK. Not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. We've got two left. Celebrities and music. We'll go for celebrities for three. I think we've got to go for it, yeah. Celebs for three, please. Which regular on ITV's Loose Women was formerly both a BBC executive and editor of the newspaper The Independent on Sunday? Colleen Nolan, Janet Street Porter, or Nadia Sawala? Colleen Nolan obviously was in the Nolans. I, I'm pretty sure she. I can disregard her okay. as an editor. Janet Street Porter was certainly uh, a journalist. Nadia Sawala, I'm not entirely sure. I've got to go with Janet Street Porter. That's, that's what's screaming out at me. So let's Janet go with... Janet Street Porter? Let's go with Janet. Going to go with Janet Street Porter, please? Yes, please. So the one that you feel is shouting out, the one that you know was a journalist, potentially editor, is it Janet Street Porter? Yeah, oh, of course. Fan Live TV, you show Network 7. Ah, <sighs> OK, good. Right, job zone one. Yes, please, Ben. One up, please. Right, down that right-hand side. We've got three counters here. We could really get this close if we get them on the right side. Come on. Yes! That's better. That's Finally. definitely better. He's gone. That brings okay. it down. Stay there. Don't go drifting. Okay. Nice. Four across the tipping point, including that one that jumped out. £200 goes in there, Dyke. Up to £3,750. Lovely. Two more to go in. Drop zone one, please. One again, again please. Yeah. Now, that silver counter, we need it over, but to the right slightly, so... Yeah, I've got to get it very precise, I think. It's That's not too bad. I don't yeah, mind that. That's going to fill the hole. I think it's just going to fill the gap, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. OK. <clears throat> and one more to go in. Drop someone again. Someone, yeah. yeah Fire it up, please. Yeah. Come on now, come on now, machine. Give us something else. Come on then. On the right. Mm. Maybe. Is it gonna push anything? Oh, silver one over in two. Get a few over. Oh, oh they fell too. Ah, if they'd unlucky. just gone a bit sooner, I think we would have got a little bit of action then. Yeah. Three more drop in, another 150 pounds. The money's going up again. 3,900 pounds. We're on the bottom shelf. Let's have a look at the categories. We have music left. Music. Yeah, go on, we'll go for three, why not? Music for three, please. Which of these is the title of Justin Bieber's sixth studio album? Freedom, Justice or Truth? I don't think I could tell you one of his songs. This is so bad. I don't know why, it just... Truth feels right. I mean, uh, Justice, has he been particularly hard done by? Yeah, let's go with truth. Just truth is screaming out at me. That's what I would call an album. We're going to go with truth. Three. Let's do it. Let's see if you're right. Is it called truth? Uh, Justice. Justice. There you go. Oh, die, that's really frustrating. So, look, we're out of questions and categories, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £3,900. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting that jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, you'll keep your mystery prize, but nothing else has any value. So you'd leave with £10,000 or you leave with nothing at all. Do you think three would be enough? 
Looking at the way the two on the top are split mm. and the way the machine has been today, I'm not going to go for it. I'll uh, I'll take the money, please, Okay, then. I'll ask you one last time, Di. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Congratulations. Then. You're leaving with £3,900. The machine hasn't been particularly generous just in terms of dropping it on the right-hand side during this endgame. But, of course, you never know what she likes to do. So we're going to play out the trade to see what might have happened had you been willing to take it. OK. okay. Job one. Hit that silver one. It's now, where's not that going to go? It though, is it? No, and I think this would have been our problem in the end. Yeah. Drop two. I still think it was the right choice. Yeah, yeah. it was. This was the third and final drop. Oh, now that would have been more interesting. Where have these been during the whole of the last yeah. round? And even that's going to slide oh, and sneak along. Oh, it's heavy. Got there a little go. nudge, but nothing more. Happy How are you days? feeling now? Good, yeah. I'm, I'm glad with that, yeah. You've played a great game, you really have. Dai, you're leaving with £3,900, and Brilliant. of course, you've won your sightseeing gourmet oh, lunch yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. Which I know you're going to enjoy. Have you had a good time? I've loved it. Thank you so much. I've really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. So it's much. our pleasure. It's been great fun playing alongside you. Well done. So there you go, Dai's leaving with £3,900. He's off to have a look around London while eating some scran as well. It's not too bad, is it? Just couldn't get the jackpot counter out into the wind zone. Frustrating. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tippy Point. Goodbye.